Does Kristen Bell have a lazy eye? Well, if you're interested in finding out from this eye muscle surgeon, keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe and follow button. All right, so I am not just any ophthalmologist. I am actually fellowship trained in strabismus. And strabismus is another word, people often call it lazy eye, though I hate that term in particular because I don't know, it just sounds awful. So I never use it, but I know that's what other people call strabismus. And what it is, is just when your eyes are misaligned, when they might cross in, they might wander out, they can even be vertically deviated. This is something that I treat all day, every day in my practice, and I also do eye muscle surgery for. So I think it's pretty cool and I love changing lives in this way. Well, I recently watched an old video and I saw that Kristen Bell may actually have this condition. Let's take a look. Is that a good shot? Okay, ready? Yes. You see everything, yeah. Uh, but I, uh, I so she definitely has her business, and the reason she has separate control of her eyeballs, which is really unusual, and it's not actually that she's controlling each eye individually, because that is a neurologic impulse, and those pathways are crossed. But the reason it looks like she has separate control is because one of her eyes is slightly crossed in. And she has talked about this in the media before. She's often said that her right eye is a little bit crossed and sometimes it's 100% crossed in. Now in this zoom, everything's reversed. So it's you, if you're looking at it, it seems like it's the left eye. If you notice, and I wanna show it again, really slow in slow motion here. Her right eye actually doesn't go all the way out. It doesn't move all the way to the outside. And that's really common. And the reason for that is there are six eye muscles that move the eye. An inner muscle called the medial rectus muscle moves the eye inwards. And an outer muscle called the lateral rectus muscle moves the eye outwards. Those are the two we're gonna concentrate on right now because that's what applies to Kristen. When one of the muscles is overactive, like in Kristen's case, her right eye is crossing in. So that medial rectus muscle is pulling too hard. Then it makes it so it's really difficult to move the eyeball out. And you can see that. So when she's moving her other eye, her left eye in, the right eye is actually not going out, it kind of stops. Again, it looks like it's the opposite in the zoom that the left eye is the one that's, but it's because it's zoom. And I have to be accurate because I know she's mentioned that it's her right eye. So I think everything is flipped because it's a zoom. Now she has mentioned she's had this cross-eyed all her life and that you can really see it in certain videos and in certain movies. She hasn't fully disclosed if she had to do any treatment for it. So what are the treatments for a cross-eyed? This is also called esotropia. And there's many different subtypes of esotropia. There is accommodative esotropia, and that's something that develops when children are young. I did a whole video on it right there. And what happens is kids are really farsighted. They need glasses to put on to help lessen their workload of looking at things. She's never shown pictures of herself in glasses when she was young, so I'm not sure if this is the condition that she had. Usually kids with accommodative esotropia outgrow it by the time they hit their teen or adult years. So I don't know if this is what she had. Another treatment option for it is patching. And that's when you patch the better eye, the eye that moves better, the one that sees better, 
in order to get better vision and sometimes even better movement in the weaker eye. Again, she's never mentioned that she's patched, but I feel like she probably did at some point because I thought I saw a post on it, but I wasn't able to find reference to it again. So we don't know if she had amblyopia or not. Again, another video that I did right there on that. And that's when the vision does not develop well in that eye. So I wonder if the vision in the right eye is just not as clear as the vision in the other eye. And that's something you have to treat when children are young with that patch or a special eye drop or else those vision centers, they get set by the time kids are, you know, 13, 14. And then the last treatment option to fix esotropia is surgery. And that's what I do. If kids are not candidates for glasses, if they are not fixed with patching treatment, then surgery is going to be the best option to align the eyes so that they are moving together and the brain is receiving input from both eyes at the same time. I know that she has not had eye surgery. Well, I can't say that, I'm not her eye doctor, but she's never made reference to the fact that she's had eye surgery before. So I don't think she's had eye surgery. She probably has had this mild esotropia. And I have a lot of patients who have a little bit of strabismus or misaligned eyes and it's intermittent so it doesn't affect them on a daily basis it's not impacting their vision too much and so surgery is not necessary all right so that's what's going on with Kristen if you have any other celebrities that you are interested in finding out what's happening with their eyes drop them in the comments below I'd love to hear from you until next time I am Dr. Rupa it was good to see you make sure to like follow subscribe do all the things so I can keep this channel going bye-bye for now